guys, how's it going? Jake here, Dude Ranch DIY. Um, it is Wednesday afternoon. It's pretty overcast, pretty humid, not too hot, but you know, it's all right. Um, I just got home from work and we got the rest of this pile of dirt here. And I already got the tractor set up to be moving the dirt, you know, with the ballast box and the bucket and all. So I'm hoping I can get the rest of this pile at least moved back to the area where we're doing the lawn and um, get this kind of like wrapped up and cleaned up. I got a couple side jobs coming up in the future that I need the grapple and the chipper on the back again. So I'd like to just, you know, have the bucket and ballast box on one time and not have to swap back and forth because it's a pretty big pain in the ass. Um, so let's see how much we can get done. As I've been running all these loads of uh, buckets of fill back here, I was I was wishing there was a better way to do it. It's taken an awful long time, but unfortunately, I just can't come up with any any way that I think we could have made it a little bit more efficient. Because there's no way to get the dump trailer back here. There's no way to get a dump truck back here. So short of having one of those little mini, you know, like skid loader dump trucks or something like that. I think this is the most efficient way beyond cutting in a road or, or something like that, which would have been a lot more work. So, food for thought the next time we try and build a larger backyard. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a big rock right here in this whole area. It's a pretty big hump. I tried digging it out, but the thing is, is massive. I think it's one of those cases where it's just like the tip of the iceberg. So I've been dumping a lot of dirt there to try and level it out. And there's still a little bit of a hump right there, but it's a lot better than it was. I just, you know, tracked it all down or uh, compressed it as best as I could with the with the tires and the bucket and it seems to be a lot better um, I don't think I'm gonna quite get it 
you know, to be level by any means with the amount of dirt that I currently have, but it certainly is, it is better. Now I think I'm gonna focus on this area right up in here where it's the light sandy material and kind of fill this in and gradually taper it off back to, you know, the rest of the lawn that we have up there. But I'm, uh, for never doing this before, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself that I've been able to figure it out somewhat. So let's keep chugging away. guys so I just hopped off the tractor quick looking around I think we're in pretty good shape this section that I've been working on is uh, much smoother a lot less divots and ruts and stuff than there initially was um, this section like right here that I'm sitting on top of and just behind me um, once was lawn and we kind of dug it up so you can see there's some roots and stuff we're gonna need a couple bucketfuls here to just kind of top dress and smooth it out um, from where we dug out uh, all the you know briars and you know underbrush stuff like that um, the pile out front is dwindling it's getting pretty small it's just me here today um, so I'm running the cameras and the machine haven't been getting any footage of me doing the actual buckets because it's a lot of running back and forth like I said this area is kind of far relatively speaking from where the pile of dirt is um, food for thought for uh, you know next time we try and pull off a, a project like this um, and then if we do have enough dirt left out front, uh, where the tripod is right now was lawn at one point. So I think if we could just top dress it a little bit to get out some of these small, you know, divots and ruts that, you know, the tractor made and just from the rain and erosion and stuff, we'll be in really good shape. Best part is we're doing it ourselves, dude. bucket that I've brought back here, I've gone boom, boom, and dropped dirt, it gave me a pretty big butt pucker to say the least. You live and you learn.
Oh, the rock. Connecticut potatoes. than I anticipated and uh, mostly just you know moving the dirt um, but as Sam and I said in the last video when we were doing this we've never done this before kind of a learning experience um, but all in all I think it came out pretty good I'm actually uh, pretty surprised Let me grab the tripod and show you guys how it came out. So this back section is the section we worked on first. And uh, this section right here, it's dark brown, was the last section I just worked on. And it came out pretty good, I think. I don't know. I'm not a professional earth mover or anything, so I'm not expecting a professional quality end result, but for a couple dudes at the dude ranch, I think it will suffice. It uh, came out pretty good. I think the next step is we're gonna need to get a load of some topsoil because this stuff clearly isn't all that uh, nutrient rich, judging by this whitish color that it turned after about two weeks of sitting. But all in all, it's a hell of a lot better than it was. So I'm happy with it. Well, all right, guys, that's it. Jake here, signing out for Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks for watching another video. As always, if you like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna get notified when we post a new video, hit that little bell icon next to it. You got any comments or suggestions for the channel, suggestions on what we could be doing better on the project or just in general, um, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and be sure to tell your friends. Thanks.